guys so yeah um back into the real world now after vegan camp out mm, it's a bit sad <laughs> it was like so nice just being around all those lovely vegans so many beautiful vegans like ridiculous um and just so many creative talented innovative inspirational motivational amazing people there like i was overwhelmed it made me a bit shy really um so yeah i found it quite hard being back home well monday was good because we had loads of different people from all over come to visit um sheffield and we had like a little social meetup at church temple of fun so that was really really nice and um got to see some people perform as well and shamey rowan he did like a full set uh his music is really amazing i'll put a link below you should check him out definitely um, just such a beautiful voice and really nice lyrics and really like authentic like it's himself and stories and yeah he run the open mic at the boot camp activism boot camp at the camp out and I think that's like his passion going around doing saves and basically getting people to express themselves through music as well inspiring people to so yeah so he's busking about and doing saves that's like the dream it's so cool um yeah it's inspired me to want to travel and get more creative and yeah i've been practicing my poem lots today which i performed at um the open mic and it went really well and just thanks everyone for your support although I didn't read it quite as how I wanted to I was a bit nervous and a bit tired and stuff so so yeah so I've been practicing that so I can read it I'd really like to read it at the animal rights march on Saturday that would be epic as fuck so yeah but yeah back to Monday it was a beautiful day all vegans together we did a cuba truth which went amazingly like i actually spoke to three people like seriously about veganism and like they were already watching the video and you could see it affected them and yeah my outreach just went really well and i was really confident and felt like i learned loads at the vegan camp out so that and like all that vegan energy and positivity like was within me and I was determined to you know talk to people and though I've been doing good at talking to people anyway but I felt like that solidified it for me to just speak to the general public rather than random people that approach me in random places <laughs> so yeah that so yeah it was good it was like the stabilizers or armbands support <laughs> on Monday to like ease us back into the real world of us just still having some vegan vibes and going to the vegan spot and all being vegan -y vegans after doing vegan activism. Um, so yeah, that felt really good. But then after then, I've just been like, Ooh. went to the shop. Well, come downstairs yesterday. And then my housemate had just had a delivery of food, which was this stack of eggs, like 12 packs of eggs, stacked, like probably like 12 packs of 12 packs, they look like a massive stack, more than six, at least six trays of 12. So that's a lot of eggs. And for one person. So yeah. I think like just one egg is above your amount of um, cholesterol intake for one day. So yeah, not so great. Plus they're just like chicken periods that come out their bum slash vagina, which is the same hole, which is a bit 
Not that there's anything gross about periods for all you feminists out there. Um, just come out of their bum for one. So I don't like poo on my food. Um, and also I don't consider periods to be food. I wouldn't want to eat stuff from people's bodies in that way. But each to their own. I don't know. Anyway. So yeah, I come down and saw that, then I went to the shop, and then it was like, I wasn't prepared. She's so used to normally seeing all this stuff, but then being in the little vegan bubble over the weekend, then I just forgot that there's a huge, big, huge carnist world out there. And yeah, I just saw all the dead carcasses wrapped in plastic, and all the, you know, cow growth juice, mammary gland secretions packaged up and someone buying some and I really wanted to say something but just felt really disheartened and sad. But we can't be disheartened and sad, we've got to speak up. But yeah, probably telling people, oh there's pus in that or something while they're buying it, it's probably just going to piss them off and not help veganism, so got to be well thought out how we do our activism that's what I learned at camp out so yeah um yeah it's been hard adjusting it was only away for a couple of days but take me back to camp out I miss it <sighs> been talking to my friend Carl he's wanting a uh, we spoke before about setting up a peace peace utopia vegan island we need that even if it's not for us all to go live there but oh sorry but if we all like went there when we just need a break away from it all i'm sure if all vegans chipped in some money then we could buy an island definitely well we could just do that with the whole world slowly buy the world back and then no one would own it that would be cool so yeah, lots of ideas flowing. Lots of ideas. Um, Heart Cure got the keys for the um, vegan social centre, so that's brilliant. So really exciting stuff there. Have to go and help out, help them out. Um, so yeah, I got really upset earlier because I'd written this badass, like one of the best poems I'd written, poem about body hair and then I was trying to put tags on it and then I'd written it on Instagram and then Instagram froze and then I lost the whole thing and I was just like no ah, rage sadness fuck so I rang my mum and had a good cry and then I, then it actually made me realize all these things because it was like an empowering poem about how we're meant to have body hair as women well, still we're meant to have body hair that's when we turn into a woman we get body hair to say we are a woman so why is society telling us to get rid of it all and look like children and you know it's a bit weird when I've started to think about it like that also like the theme of the thing was basically love yourself and, you know, you don't have to conform. Is it your decision or is it because we've been told to shave all the hair off? You don't have to plim, pruck and prune and all that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, I was really annoyed that I lost that, so I'm going to try and remember it again later, but probably not. So I just went off on a tangent trying to learn my vegan poem off by heart which I'm almost there I just was doing it too much that then I was fucking it up so I just had to have a break from it so I'll come to talk to you guys so yeah that poem about body hair I was basically just saying yeah fuck conforming and all that shit ain't nobody got time for that why am I gonna hate on myself just because the patriarchy tells me to you know 
I'm learning to love my body hair. It's beautiful. Um, so yeah, it's weird though, because yeah, all this stuff came out basically when I spoke to my mum. So I realised, like, it's a bit fucked up how when finally, like, I'm probably the most authentically confident that I've ever been. But then, I don't know, then I st I'm still more, like, maybe vulnerable, openly vulnerable than I've ever been, but then that kind of makes you stronger, but then you feel weaker. It's a bit weird, but... So, yeah, it was a bit like, why... Basically, I was able to, like... You're able, as a woman, to pull more or, like have more guys attracted to you when like you hate on yourself more or you're more insecure or I don't know my mum was saying I come across as quite like confident and sure of myself and maybe that's not attractive to guys maybe guys want someone who's weak and defenseless and insecure I don't know but that's fucked up in itself. Um, like this fairy tale thing where it's like guys want to rescue a girl and girls have to be like damsel in distress and if you're not a damsel in distress, nobody gives a fuck. I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I've released all this stuff because there's a weird duality on one hand I feel really confident and I know I'm beautiful and you know I feel sexy I feel cute I feel all these things but then on the other hand sometimes I don't feel that way I feel ugly and gross and disgusting and like nobody there's so much better out there so why would they want me so it's weird battling with these contradictory feelings inside of us and trying to overcome those and try to you know still coming across as authentic but then because we're such complex beings it's hard to we can be authentic in that moment but moments change from time to to time so we could feel totally different one minute to the next so it's not that we're being disingenuous just humans are complex creatures and we can think and feel lots of multiple things depending on all the different factors coming at us so like at camp out i felt totally overwhelmed by all the amazing beautiful people there and i wanted to like reach out and talk to these people but then i just didn't because I just felt like I wasn't good enough but then I felt like when I at, right at the end when I performed my poem and I felt like I had something to give and offer then I felt ready to chat to people then but then it was over so that was a bit crap um, but yeah it's a bit sorry it's just a bit annoying, really. <sighs> like, why should I be seeking validation from somebody else? That's not right. I'm trying to learn. I'm learning all these things about myself and about relationships and about... You know about relationships and love and things and I'm realising having all these realisations of where I've been going wrong before but then the better I make myself to not go wrong the less chance I feel like I have of having any romantic fun um, I don't know, it's really weird because you like overthink things and you're like, I'm not ready for a relationship because all oh, humans are really fucked and I need to like, make love myself 100% before I bring someone else into this but then on the other hand it's like oh I'd really like some fucking intimacy 
or like to go on a date or have a intimate hug or a kiss or fucking something nice like that you know I'm in my 20s I keep thinking I'm meant to be having fun and doing daft shit but then I'm not doing daft shit I'm trying to get my life on track and sort myself out so then it's like only seriousness then not funness but then I don't want anything serious but then I don't want anything meaningless I want something meaningful but I don't know what I want what do we want no one knows what they fucking want so yeah it's just I'm a human, I have needs basically and a lot of my needs and desires and stuff aren't being met. But then it's like, oh, we need to overcome these needs and desires and show discipline but then it's like, oh, we can't show too much discipline because you need to have fun in life or you go fucking crazy. How do we balance? It's really hard. Um, and I thought I'd have some fun times at camp out but then I just felt like I put too much pressure on myself and freaked out and just went to boot camp and learned how to be a better vegan instead of how to get laid. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I know things will like fall into place. Just trust the universe. Woo, trust the universe. But then sometimes it's like... I think just maybe because from like a young age... I've been in relationships, so, like, my first long-term proper relationship was when I was 15, and we were together until I was 16, almost 17. And then I went straight into another relationship, and then another one, and then I moved to Sheffield, and then I was lonely for ages, and then... I had some encounters, but then I was in a relationship for almost three years and lived with a guy. And that was a complete fuckery, but then that I learned so much from that. Uh, a lot. So I'm grateful for that experience and that person because I developed so much as a person. But then I was just longing to be free the whole time and to just be able to be myself and I recognise that I'm a lot better when I'm single rather than in relationships but then I like almost got into other or did get into other relationships after that but then could see well, as soon as I wasn't happy then I just finished it because life's too short and things don't usually get better in those circumstances like people are who they are and that's why you got to be real from the beginning and express what you need. Hmm. And then now I've just been like single for almost two years. And No, like I want to be single, I like being single, but I just like to maybe, I don't know, have some fun. Yeah. I'm so tired. <sighs> Take me back to camp out. I miss all the vegans. So yeah, anyway, I've rambled on enough there that I was kind of sidetracked, but... Yeah, I'm really annoyed about losing that poem. I'm going to try and remember it, but... Just basically... Yeah. Love yourself. Love your hair. Hair. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go now because I'm really tired. And I'm really hungry. So, yeah. Peace. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Check out my other stuff. I've got massive videos from Camp Out. And yeah.
other stuff. Woo! Peace. Love you guys. Bye.